We are talking about climate change, carbon emissions, and global warming and various other aspects. But we are not addressing soil. Soil is the habitat upon which zillions of lives thrive. Once there is no richness in soil, then you have forsaken the planet in many ways. Every responsible scientist in the world and the UN agencies are clearly saying we have only eighty to hundred harvests left. That means approximately forty-five to fifty years of agricultural soil left on the planet. By 2045, we will be producing forty percent less food than what we are producing right now and our populations will be 9.3 billion people. The food shortages that could manifest in the next twenty-five years, the consequences of that is unimaginable. Civil wars will unfold across the world once there is food shortage. What we are facing now is soil extinction. Soil is the biggest ecosystem on the planet and so few people know anything about it. One teaspoon of healthy soil probably contains more microbes than there are people on earth. The microbial life in the first twelve to fifteen inches of topsoil is the basis of our existence. It is this magic beneath our feet which has produced the life that we are. This first twelve to fifteen inches of soil is the basis of life for eighty-seven percent of life on this planet, including you and me. We must understand if you add organic content to sand, sand will turn into soil. If you remove all organic content from the soil, soil will become sand. In normal agricultural soil, the minimum organic content should be between three to six percent. The most minimum is three percent. At least this minimum to keep the soil alive, to keep the soil as living soil. I think the three percent minimum is something I've been pushing for the last forty years. Um, so, uh, I've been causing trouble for a while. <laughs> Three percent is, is kind of the, the borderline where you've got enough diversity in the kinds of foods that are present so that all of the necessary sets of microorganisms will be able to perform their jobs at the right time and in the right place. And people don't think about the fact that every growing season is different from every other growing season you've ever encountered. It's hot or cold or wet or dry or some combination of different abiotic factors. How much sand, sand and clay do you have? How available is, um, are those nutrients tied in the sand, silts and clays for your microorganisms to be able to pull them out? You've got to have all of that diversity of food. Right now, agricultural soils across the world, the depletion is so heavy. In most countries, more than fifty percent of the topsoil is already gone in the last hundred years. 